It's been a while. It's been so long that I have forgotten not to film up my nose when I do these. So <laughs> sorry about that. I think I'll like zoom out. Well, you, you can see the finished product, whatever I did. Maybe I'll zoom out and add a little background or something so it's not so intense. My big ass face. <laughs> I don't know. Enjoy the video. It's been a while since I've done a full video, long form, what I ate today. Yeah, hope you guys are doing well. It's a lovely October 1st. Wow, it's Halloween time. We've got all the spooky stuff up, all the Halloween stuff up. And I normally, I have a smoothie, protein smoothie or protein oatmeal, but I made these really yummy muffins. Morning Glory. Why does that sound like a so, am I thinking glory hole? I'm gross. Anyway, uh, I had two of those instead because they are so good. I made them the day before yesterday and that's that's literally the last one that I showed you. Two of my kids love them too. Two out of three. Hey, that's pretty good. But uh, yeah, they're just like standard muffin. I just, I didn't want to make the um, Issa banana nut muffins. Those are the ones I typically make when I make muffins. But these have carrot, grated carrot and apple and raisins, and coconut, uh, pumpkin, pumpkin seeds. They're really, really good. They're really, really sugary. They have a cup of packed brown sugar, which is a bit much. I think next time I'll use half a cup, maybe even the swerve brown sugar instead. And then the other half I'll do like a mashed banana or applesauce or something. Like I said, two of those and my coffee. Of course, I had my coffee first thing this morning with my Splenda and my soy milk and my tummy is rumbling. I made some beans, some black beans and onion. I haven't done that in a while. Normally I would have that over rice. I don't know. I don't have any rice. I don't really want rice. Maybe I'll just put it over lettuce. That's what I did yesterday with some avocado. I also have some leftover sweet potato and lentil stew. Choices. It's nice to have choices. Went with just the soup, the lentil sweet potato soup because I realized we don't have any romaine chopped and just the thought, the thought of touching wet lettuce right now. Sometimes it's just like, oh man, it's, it's going to gross me out and I'm going to have trouble eating it. So, you know, maybe just don't, maybe just don't today. So I'm just having soup today with avocado, it's like the most perfect, beautiful avocado. So happy about that. Some extra pepper on top. And a bunch of hot sauce. The tap tapatio? Tapatio? That's my favorite right now. I don't know why. I was on the Taco Bell hot sauce for a long time. But man, I love this stuff right now. I'm an old oak tree. I was once tall and strong. Now I'm cursed to be decayed and sing a death song. <laughs> Hope you like the very orange uh, Halloween lighting. We've got a bunch of orange lights. and Oh my gosh, so so much so much Halloween stuff. Anyway, uh, don't chase after your kids right after you've eaten a big bowl of spaghetti and roasted veggies and meatballs. That's right, meatballs in this house are meatballs. The Morningstar Farm ones, they're pretty good. They're not super greasy like the Beyond Meat. And the Beyond Meat just has a taste that, oh man, I can't, can't do it. But before that, had some fruit had an apple. I don't know. I have so much fruit pretty much every single day. I know I had a small bowl of mango and then was like, this is delicious. So I had another like big mango. Uh, keep mangoes are in season right now, which are my favorite. Oh my God, they're so good. They're like juicier than the, the Kent mangoes, which are also really good, but that's like mostly what you get during the summer. Um, and then at like the end of summer, early falls, when you start getting the Keet ones, K-E-I-T-T, and they just have this flavor. I, I can't describe it. It's so good. And they're also like kind of juicier. Oh man, fantastic. But once they're done, that's going to be it for mangoes until next year, until spring when the Italfos come back. So I'm going to be pretty sad about that. Peaches are done, of course. I mean, they're still selling them at the store, but peaches in October is like... Peaches in September is like, unless you're getting them to like can or something, but just to eat, like, it's, you know, you're probably not going to find great ones. Anyway, it is nighttime. As you probably guessed, the kids are in bed. I am playing Zelda, playing Echoes of Wisdom. It is very, very cute. 
uh, it's got kind of elements, I guess, of Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom as far as well, more Tears of the Kingdom, like little things you can kind of make, I guess. I don't know. It's so funny. It's like you learn table. <laughs> Is this the first thing you learn? Table. Yo, I got that table skill. It's really, really cute. Anyway, after the fruit. Oh, I had some tea. I've been loving tea. Just some black tea. I also bought some green tea. Like, man, I always do this every couple of years. I'm like, oh yeah, tea. Tea is so good. I feel like something else before dinner, but maybe that's it. Maybe I just filled up. Oh, I cut up a cantaloupe and ate some of that. So yeah, I, I like fruit. And then, like I said, for dinner, had some spaghetti and meatballs and roasted cauliflower, red onion, bell pepper. The pasta, just good old semolina flour pastas. Good quality because they had like a buy three bags, get one free. And I was like, yeah, what the hell? You know, we usually do whole wheat or the protein plus or the bonza or whatever. And I was like, ah, oh, man, I want to have just some good old like refined carb <laughs> pasta. And I forgot what the shape's called. Nice little like tube or big, big tube shape. And <laughs> my oldest kid was just like, that pasta. I want more of that. That's good. I was like, you can, you can tell the difference. They're like, yeah, I mean that shape, we don't normally have a, a tube shape that big, right? You can get like penne or whatever. But I was like, yeah, you can, you can tell the difference, right? It's, it's, you know, my kids pretty much always eat like whole wheat or the protein ones. And I've eaten those, you know, for years. I very rarely have like real pasta, but like, yeah, man, there's a difference. There's a reason people live on refined carbs and meat and sugary snacks and more sugary snacks and potato chips. Like, it's good. I can make an, you know, alternative, healthier chocolate cupcake or whatever. And like, it's good. Yeah. But then you have like real chocolate cupcake and you're like, oh, oh, right. <laughs> White flour is special. <laughs> nice to have as a little treat. And not so bad when the rest of the food is like, you know, healthier meatballs, right? That are mostly, I think those are soy protein, not a lot of coconut oil or anything. And then the veggies, of course. And then I went and chased my kids around the playground. We do this monster game where the trees are safe and like around the trees are safe. So they have to run from tree to tree. I don't know why. I don't know why they don't just stay at a tree and then I can't do shit. Right after having a big old bowl of pasta and veggies, not recommended. No popcorn tonight, no sweets. I know I usually have ice cream or like cereal, some kind of sweet thing. I'm really like finally trying to cut back because my normal like, I gain a little bit of weight and then, oh, okay, start watching my calories. The weight comes off six months later, or eight, whatever. I don't know how long it is. You know, the weight starts creeping up again. Okay, watch my calories and it goes back down. Um, not working so well anymore. I don't know if it's age and like maybe my metabolism's a little bit slower. Maybe I'm, I don't know. You know, maybe I'm just eating more sugary shit. I don't know. But uh, it's not, it's not quite working this time. I'm kind of struggling to get the weight where I want it to be. Um, so yeah, the sweet, the sweets, you know, like I'm not going to cut out my fucking 10 servings of fruit that's healthy and like makes me happy. You know, like I've got to, I've got to cool it on the Briars non-dairy mint chocolate chip ice cream and the chocolate on top. When and why did I start that? When, where, who, how did I think that was a good idea? <laughs> Just took this insanely high calorie thing and then made it a thousand times more, but so delicious. It's literally chocolate chips and just a little bit of coconut oil, right? Melt the chocolate chips with the coconut oil, pour it on top of the ice cream. It'll harden just like that magic shell shit that I ate as a kid. So my plan is, you know, if I'm still like really, really hungry at night, because my, my problem, I think like most people is eating at night, right? Like I just get hungry and I'm just like laying there watching something or playing games like me especially if I'm watching something if I'm playing games it's easier to avoid food I'm just laying there like oh man but if I want popcorn like whatever I eat air popped anyway just with a little bit of canola oil spray right it's pretty low calorie sweet stuff like I'm cutting that out like maybe once a week we're probably gonna get donuts from our wonderful vegan dough donuts here in Portland they have their uh, October line up they have a grasshopper one oh <gasps> looks so good so we might get some donuts this sunday right and those that'll be my big sweets thing you know 
for the week. <laughs> we end up eating like 10 donuts and it's going to be the same as having ice cream at the end of the day, right? Like, what was that Hey Arnold episode where Harold's trying to lose weight? He normally gets like 12 fudge sickles. And so instead he gets the half calorie ones, but he gets 24 of them. Poor Harold. <laughs> Harold is all of us. Anyway, I managed. I got everything recorded in one day. It's so hard. Like, I get why these family vloggers, they put their kids and stuff, right? It's not just for content. I mean, most of the time it's probably, like, that's what people want to see, right? You're going to make more money. But it's also, like, easier. If you're just trying to do, like, non-kid-focused shit, just like a what I ate today, man, it's hard to film stuff. <laughs> I got kids around all the time. Like, it's hard. It's hard to just sit down and film my food without a kid popping in front of the phone but well worth it i think you know we're, we're seeing more and more kids who are a little bit older coming out saying like yeah i really don't like that there's all these videos and photos of me just like out there kind of sucks oh supplements i did have my supplements earlier i think with dinner or maybe with lunch had my multi my deva multi and my dha i think that's it Thanks for watching, everybody. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're having a nice start to October. And, of course, like and subscribe if you want to do that. That's cool. And thank you so much to my patrons and my members here on YouTube. I do post two exclusive videos a month for Tier 2 members and patrons. I do a little vlog, and then I also do a controversial topic. I just posted the controversial for September. I actually posted it today. I was a little bit late. <laughs> yeah, that's it for me. Bye guys.